Ah, we get to go to Grind Rod. <laughs> but this intersects with 97A, and we just go straight north to Enderby. Well, we can't do whatever Google Maps wants all the time. Sometimes you gotta make your own path. Sometimes you gotta be your own man. Oh, I lost where we were. There we are. Okay. Now the real challenge, uh, how do you fold back up a map? You just follow the creases, right? Yeah, but all the creases are dip. See, I've already done it wrong. You, you, you can see. Way. Why were you guys late for the show? Uh, couldn't figure out how the map goes. Well, that can't be right. That seems to be right. What's going on? Nathan, yeah. Nathan doesn't know how to fold up a map. Are we lost? Introducing our. <laughs> Look at the great outdoors, Phineas. This is where you are from. You hate it? You kind of seem to despise it. He wants to go back in the house. Agoraphobic and also antisocial. Yes, I want to actually. Yeah, let's go see. Did you see that? Did you see what I did? Let's go have a catch. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, I'll get there. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Today we drove from Quinell <laughs> to Enderby. Last night we were in Quinell at the Caribou Hotel, and that was a lot of fun. Quinell was a very old town, full of much history. So much history. Which is really cool. Every building kind of had a plaque on it, um, telling the story of it and where, the from, from whence it had come. The hotel we stayed at was 200 years old? One, one two. Just two. over 1896. I think a squirrel just peed. Oh, great. 7,000 years old. Seven, okay, we played in a 7,000 year old hotel. Give or take. And we played to about six people. No, 12. I doubled it, you know, six of one half a dozen monthly. <laughs> Before we even started, we had uh, two guys while we were sound checking. Um, As the waitresses were like, all right, everyone, move back from the stage. It's about to get just a little bit louder. We had two guys stand up and be like, oh, you know, your band, your band is really good when the whole crowd starts getting up and leaving. But we're, we're right in front of you, sirs. We, we could hear you. Also, we haven't even played here yet. Oh, the band's starting. I've heard better. We had l literally not touched our instruments. I mean, granted, for sound check, we did uh, Dancing Queen. That's a lie. We didn't do that. So we did that, and it was fun. And then we spent the night and um, hung out on the bridge, looking up over the Fraser River. That was really cool. Um, but now we're in possibly the most magical place in all of British, British Columbia. British. At Lorenzo's Cafe. Um, it's a building that used to be an old schoolhouse, and he's since added on so much more. Um, and it's an enormous, fantastic venue inside. It's like a mansion in the middle of the forest. Forest mansion. Fantastic. Forest, forest mystery mansion. All right. Mystery, mystery supreme adventure mansion breakfast bed. Also, Evan is gonna play some songs to kick off the evening. Which is uh, okay, I guess. You may know Evan from the floating camera that takes all the video. Ooh. Spooky Evan. All right. One, two, three. Chop. Eyes on. Cut. That's what they call it. You just said chop? Well, you chop the block. What block? The director? Is that what it's called? Chopping block? <laughs> Director's no. film block? What is it called? Slate? Oh no, that's slave? boring. Wait. Chalk slave. Sl slate. With a T. Slave. Nathan? Yep. <laughs> State? State. State. That's it. State. Chocolate chocolate state. <laughs> chocolate. Cho chocolate steak. <laughs> yeah. Groovy.
last night at Lorenzo's Cafe here in Enderby, and we're pretty sure this place might be magic. Obviously, this is the guard of the gates fellow. He has no thumbs. Lost him in a terrible thumb accident. And just back here is where we are. <laughs>